Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and in this lesson we are going to talk about adding positive and negative numbers. Positive and negative numbers are opposites. So a positive number will start at the zero and move to the right, while a negative number will start at the zero and move to the left on a number line. This is what it would look like. So when we're asked to add positive and negative numbers, what we're doing is joining them together. So here's an example. We have the number 3, and then we need to add negative 4. 3 plus negative 4 puts us right there at negative 1. So using a number line, we can see that when we put 3 and then we put on a negative 4, we'll end up at negative 1. Let's remember one concept about adding. When you add numbers, it doesn't matter what order you add them in. So if I start with negative 4 and add positive 3, I should end up at the same place. Let's see if that works. Negative 4 plus 3 gets me to the same exact spot, negative 1. So it doesn't matter what order I add them, I'm going to end up at negative 1. If I join together 3 and, po and negative 1, negative 4, huh, positive 3 and negative 4. So let's look at some other questions. Let's say we had positive 5 and then we added negative 2. We'd end up here at positive 3. Now, we can't carry around a huge number line everywhere we go. And what do we do if we're without a number line? And let's face it, most adding and subtracting, we are not going to use a number line. It's not terribly convenient. So let's learn how to do that math um, it's fun to look at the visuals, but let's learn how to do that math without needing the visuals. Here's a couple of rules, a couple of steps that'll help us. Step number one, if the signs are the same, you find the sum. So if you have a positive and a positive, you just add them together. Sum is adding. If it's a negative and a negative, again, you would just add those two numbers together. If the signs are different, you find the difference. So difference is subtracting. So if the signs are different, we're going to subtract. And then our final answer, we have to have a sign, either a positive sign or a negative sign. And we'll take that from the larger, and I use the word digit here, um, the larger number, and technically it's the larger absolute value. In other words, the larger number when you ignore the signs. So if there's a negative 500 and a positive 2, the 500 is bigger than 2 although we know negative numbers are actually really, really, really small, this will help us, trust me. So let's go ahead. Step number two will make a lot more sense when we do some examples. So let's do this. We're going to evaluate 14 plus negative 2. The signs are different, so we're going to find the difference. Difference means subtracting. So I'm just going to get rid of all the signs now and just subtract. 14 minus 2 is 12. I look at the numbers now. 14 and negative 2. The final sign is going to be positive because 14 is positive and 2 is negative. So I take the sign from the larger number. 14 is bigger than 2, 14 is positive, so we have more positives than negatives. So our final solution is a positive 12. Let's take a look at another one. Same exact steps. 3 plus negative 8. The signs are different. I'm going to find the difference. We find the difference by subtracting. 8 minus 3 is 5. So the difference between 8 and 3 is 5. And the final sign on this one is going to be negative. And the reason for that is because the number 8 is larger than the number 3. So in other words, there's more negatives than there are positives. There's eight negatives, there's only three positives. So you look for which number is larger. In this case, eight is a larger number than three. We can say eight has a large, negative eight has a larger absolute value than positive three. But basically, you just ignore the signs and look at the numbers. Which number is bigger? Eight's bigger than three? Okay, eight is negative, so there's more negatives than there are positives. Our final solution is going to be a negative five. And let's look at one where um, we've got the same signs, negative 15 plus negative 9. The signs are the same, so we just add them together. 15 plus 9 is 24. And because both numbers are negative, 
the final sign is going to be negative. Negative 15 plus negative 9 means that we have an even bigger negative. We have 24 negatives now. And that's what happens when you add negative numbers. All right, so our final answer for this one is going to be negative 24. It's very similar to when you have two positive numbers, 3 plus 1, for example. The signs are the same, so I'm going to find the sum. 3 plus 1 is 4, and the final sign is positive because both numbers are positive. See how that works? When the signs are the same, you follow the same steps. I realize this is a nice, easy question. It's helpful when we finish off with a nice, easy question. The solution is positive 4. So, the rules to remember, if the signs are the same, you find the sum. If the signs are different, you find the difference. I hope that that lesson's been helpful for you, and have a wonderful day.